Good morning and welcome to our new series, Wednesday in the Word, dealing with a subject matter that seems to be on everyone's mind. I've had multiple people ask me, Pastor, what's happening in the world today? What's going on? Is this the end times? Uh, is something going to happen? Is is the vaccine for COVID-19, is that the mark of the beast? Is this going on or this is going on? And they've got a lot of questions about the end of the world. And it's always been on mankind's mind what's going to happen in the end. And people have been preparing for a long time. There are people who we know as they're called preppers, and they're preparing uh, for a doomsday type event. And they're gathering weapons and gathering food and uh, preparing for that. There's people today that are preparing for the zombie apocalypse, and they're so concerned about preparing for that. There are people that are preparing, 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 and it can be overwhelming thinking about the end of the world. Because I have to tell you, the Bible does tell us this world will end. It will end. And the best book in the New Testament, in fact, there's only one in the New Testament dealing with prophecy, and that is the book of Revelation. Notice I said Revelation, not Revelations. It's not multiple Revelations. It's one Revelation. In fact, in verse number one, of Revelation, it says this, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. And so we're looking forward to diving into this series and answering some of the questions that people have. Now, the book of Revelation was penned by John the Beloved, and it's believed to be penned around AD 96 is when it's believed to be penned. And so we're excited to dive into this book. My goal is to take you through the book of Revelation and show you through each passage the revelation of what this book is about. And it's found in verse 1. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation is all about Jesus and his interacting with mankind and in the past, in the present, and in the future. When you look at the book of Revelation, there are multiple views that you can take, but the best view to take is the biblical view. Now, in chapter 1, it'll tell us about who we're looking at, why we're looking at that person, when we're looking at that person. So we're excited to dive into this. I hope you are, too. I know there's a lot of questions about this book. Uh, but in fact, if you read the book of Revelation, it actually tells us there's a blessing to those that come. It's the only book that I found that has a direct blessing to those who read it, who hear it, and obey the things that are contained therein. And so we're, we're excited to talk about this book. So over the next weeks, possibly months, we're going to be studying this book in our Wednesday in the Word series. Now I want you to do me a favor. I know that some of you are, are not technologically savvy, but some of you are. And so I encourage you, share this. Encourage people to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Click on the notification button. Every time new content is released on that channel, you'll get a notification on your phone or on your device that will let you know that something new from Bible Baptist Church has been released on our YouTube channel. So I encourage you to do that. Also, we're going to do our best each week to have notes that go with each video that kind of help you. Now, most of those notes are going to be, you're going to need to do some work yourself. You're going to have to fill in some blanks. You're going to have to follow along with it. And so I encourage you to take part. If you want to know what's going to happen in the end, you need to be a part of this series. So I encourage you every Wednesday, look for it. Now, we're going to do our best to get them released every Wednesday morning. Uh, we're, our team's putting it together. We're going to try to have it every Wednesday morning available for you. But I want to encourage you to learn and to study the book of Revelation. Now, it, it's not for the casual reader. There are a lot of things in there. There's, in fact, a, a lot of symbolic. There's a lot of truth. There's a lot of really fence. And uh, we're going to do our best to help show you biblically what those things are and to be able to help you to know what's going to happen. By the way, in the book of Revelation, there are three different groups of people that we're really going to talk about, and so I look forward to sharing that with you. There's an exciting thing that happens at the beginning of chapter 4 that we're going to talk about real soon, and by the way, 
right now. Uh, we are in the last days. You say, well, preacher, it says the last days. Now, I want to notice, point something out to you, and then we'll kind of talk about it, wrap it up today. But something for you to think about. In verse number one, the Bible says that these things must shortly come to pass. Now, you may be saying, well, preacher, was it, didn't you say it was written in AD 96? I did. I said it was written approximately around that time. But here's the thing you have to remember. The Bible talks about a thousand years with us is as a day unto the Lord. So when the Lord gave this prophecy to John 2,000 years ago, it's only been a couple days. And so if it's only been a couple days, the statement is true. It'll shortly come to pass. Soon and very soon, the book of Revelation is going to be fulfilled. And I'm excited uh, to know the truth, because uh, the truth of the book of Revelation is a comfort to any believer's heart. The truth of the book of Revelation is a challenge to the unbeliever's heart. The truth of the book of Revelation ought to motivate you and I to know Christ on a more intimate level. So I look forward to diving in this series. Come on, send your questions about the book of Revelation. I'll do my best to answer them. I encourage you to think about this, though. Jesus is coming soon. The next thing on God's prophetic calendar, as we've read throughout Scripture, is the rapture of the church. We're going to talk about that in the upcoming lessons and what that details. But I want you to be reading chapter 1, the first chapter. Uh, we're not going to get through chapter 1 in one video, I can promise you that. But I want to encourage you to start reading the book of Revelation. In fact, the Bible tells us that verse number 3, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of the prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So reading the book of Revelation sometimes is scary, sometimes is overwhelming, but the Bible says you're blessed if you read it and you hear it. So I encourage you, read it, but also tune into the videos to hear it, and then also to keep those things that are in. So I encourage you, invite people. We're going to try to get this one out as quick as we can to share it with everyone. And so start inviting people to watch this series. Get them encouraged about it. Let them know that there's some truth coming out. And so we look forward to seeing those future events unfolding for us. I'm excited about this study. I hope you are too. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Wednesdays in the Word. Don't forget church services tonight here at Bible Baptist Church. We'd love to have you in attendance or watching us online. Thanks for tuning in. You have a wonderful and blessed day. May God bless you.